We're Nikki and May, and we uh, run the Shower and Marrow. Um, 268 Shower Road, opposite Two Steps, next to but one to the post office. Uh, my name's Nikki Muir. I set up the Shower and Marrow three months ago. It's a fruit and veg shop, but we're starting to expand it along with May. Um, hi, I'm May Rowley. I met up with Nikki about a month ago and started working in the shop and quickly decided that I really wanted to invest. And together with the money that I'm going to invest in the business, we're going to expand and have a deli here as well and a lot of homemade produce made by me and my sister into the shop to sell. Um, to begin with, it was because I lived in the area and I just got fed up of the only shop being a supermarket around the corner and the fruit and veg was low quality, quite a high price for what it was and I just thought that the area is perfect for a fruit and veg shop and it needed it desperately. Yeah, because I lived in the area, I, I know the people, I know the shoppers as, as, it, as it was that would are in this area and therefore we knew what would work and what people would want to buy and... I think as well there's a really like strong sense of community in Showerville already. There's yeah, the definitely. primary school, there's really old established businesses down here that have been working for years and people are really you know, fond of those businesses. So I think what we're both really hoping for is that people are as receptive to us as they are to other businesses. Yeah. I feel that our unique selling point is we're a Sheffield shop for Sheffield people and we're going to try and make as many things locally in Sheffield, homemade cakes, cordials and once we have the deli we'll ex expand that onto ready-made food as well and local Yorkshire cheeses we have local Yorkshire fruit and veg like peas from Doncaster. Yeah, local Sheffield honey. You have control over what you want to do, the time you have off and just, I think it means, for me, I prefer it because when, in jobs I've had, I've not enjoyed, I've not put everything into them. I've not, I've held back a little bit. But when you own your own business, everything you put in, you get out. So at the beginning I was working 80 hours a week, but I didn't complain because you just do it. It's what you, it's what you you're going to get out of that. And you're the same, like you're, yeah, you're baking. finally and, found an outlet for something that I'm really passionate about and that's a better feeling than, you know, any other job that you could imagine. Like, Finally yeah. pinning down what you want to do and having, like, luckily having the backing to do it and having Nikki and having the outlet to do it is fantastic and I would say to anybody out there that is looking for their ideal job, just go for it, just try your hardest and yeah. go for it. Definitely.